Hello and welcome to QRP Lifestyle. My name is David, Delta Lima 1, Delta November. Today I show you my new antenna for the True SDX, which is this one here. But the weather is so bad that I cannot do any QSU outside. So I will show you that later on. Because of the very bad weather conditions with a lot of storm and rain, I decided to make some modifications on my True SDX to increase the power. Let's go. This is an additional video because Manuel told me that um, he calculated the windings for the original toroids from Amidon. But if you are running or using um, toroids from another manufacturer, or also the original ones are plus minus 10 percent. So in my in my case, one winding less was better, but maybe in your case you have to add one winding. So please check that yourself and please make some measurements on that. But in my case, one winding um, less is better for the output power. This is the schematic of the RF part and we're gonna tune the output filter section. In this case, the first inductor and we will reduce one winding and check the gain we get. Let's check 80 first. Approx three and a half watt, then 60, approx two, 3.5, 60, approx two, 40, about two, thirty about 3, 20, about 2. Yes, a little bit more. Very good. 20, 3.2. As you can see, the L31, the L41, etc. is one winding loss, except the L51 for the 80 meter band. This value is very good. I'm just waiting for better weather conditions and my next video is about this antenna system. So thank you very much, best 73 and till the next video.